First of all, let's talk about your strategy. And I think that's what people want to hear about. You have, you're invested in seven banks right now. In three banks, you have 100% equity. Yeah. Um, the big question is your plan to transit from an, uh, a, an equity holder to a seller of that equity. Because obviously, Amcon is not designed to hold those shares for long term. OK. Thank you very much. Um, we have interest in two categories of banks now. The three banks that you spoke about, we are principal shareholders, 100%. And our strategy is that we do not want to stay longer than necessary in those banks. And we anticipate that in line with our mandate, when we get the best offer or the best, we can see we are going to get the best returns on these banks, we are going to exit. And we believe that the process that some of the banks have gone through if we, start, if we were to start it today, it will take a minimum of 18 months to exit a bank. So we anticipate that uh, maximum in the next two years will be in a position based on realities and the returns we see we are going to get from the market, exit from the three banks. Right, but some will argue that, um, speaking to many analysts, that those banks right now are somewhat struggling. They have very, when you look at their balance sheet, they have a very small loan portfolio, so interest income on those balance sheets is very low. And obviously the expenses are high because they have, many of them are, are actually quite huge banks or huge institutions prior to the um, distress and the need for them to be rescued. How do you ensure that you can get a decent return? Some are suggesting that you actually need to sell as soon as possible. Let me say that uh, the argument also works the other way. If you have a bank that have staff, that have offices, that, that have good IT, IT infrastructure and they don't have, or they have a very small uh, percentage of bad loan. That bank is a very attractive bank for an investor that has a plan and that has a focus in the Nigerian market. So really, these banks are very good brides in the market today because they are not saddled with the problems that other older banks have in the country. Okay, let's talk a bit about the plans to repay, repay back the loans. So obviously, you've issued huge um, bonds right now. Um, $2.5 is what some are estimating that is out there right now. And That's it might right. even increase when we count the other four banks that you've entered into transactions with recently. Yeah. Um, big question is, come December 2013, you have to repay at least $2.5 trillion mm -hmm. Naira to bond investors. How do you hope to achieve that? Yes, uh, it will interest you to know that from day one, Amcon has a funding model. And the funding model has been carefully looked at by the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Federal Ministry of Finance. And there are some assumptions in that funding model. One of the assumptions is that we know that within the first three years, there will be some recovery on the non-performing loans that Amcon has bought. And that assumption has been put there. We also know that on the issue of recapitalization, the capital we are putting into these various categories of banks, there will be some returns on these investments. And finally, because the government of Nigeria approached the issue of distress resolution in the banking industry in a different way, the banks bought into the idea that they have to participate in the cost of resolving the problems in the banking industry in Nigeria. And the banks did this by coming up voluntarily with a sinking fund that they will contribute a certain percentage of their total assets annually into that sinking fund to be managed by trustees. Now, wherever Amcon has shortfall, it is the sinking fund that will cover the, cover the shortfall. That funding model has been subjected to different tests and assumptions and sensitivities. And it has been found to be robust enough that the government guarantee on these bonds may not be recalled at any time. No, so practically mm. what we're saying is that you're hoping to raise money from the sinking fund if you need to. Yes. But 2.5 trillion naira in three, more or less, less than three years now, is that reasonable? It is reasonable from what we are seeing realistically even today. It will interest you to know that from the day we started to now, after we have bought over the loans from the banks, we have been going into negotiations and restructuring these loans. And we can say that comfortably about 10% of the non-performing loans that we bought have been restructured today. And 
the recovery rate we are expecting on the ones who have restructured is over 100% of the purchase price, which is a success story. And we believe the recovery and the repayment of these bonds will be possible as planned in the funding model. Tell us more about <clears throat> these MPLs. Obviously, that was the whole reason why Amcon was set up to buy up these MPLs from the banking um, sector and, of course, to recapitalize the banks and in the process. Uh, what's, how's, how's that process going? You've obviously alluded to the fact that it's going quite well in terms of recoveries, in terms of restructuring. Yeah. But what other strategies are you putting in place to ensure that you can actually get some value from those loans? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> first and foremost, before we started buying the loans, we came out with a methodology for valuing the loans, which was published. Mm -hmm. And the banks, we now issued a process to the banks and the banks came through that process and gave us information on each loan and on the basis of the information we bought the loans it will interest you to know that we bought the loans at a discount of about 61 percent so that means we if that's 100 naira loans in amcom amcom paid 39 naira for those loans so from day one the banks have also made their own provisions and they have accepted to sell these loans to amcom at significant discounts. This increases the chances of recovering these loans because the banks have admitted that the loans are bad. So in restructuring these loans, it is possible based on the circumstances of each borrower for us to pass some of the discounts to the borrower, mm -hmm. therefore making it more likely for these borrowers to pay their debts under this scenario. All right. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, we can't take it much further. Thank you for your mm -hmm. thoughts. We're speaking to Abbas Jega, the executive director at Amcon, giving us his thoughts on how Amcon intends to get out of those um, banks and sell out executive positions.